Pepe, where's more food? The natives are starving out there. What do I look like, a short order cook? It's coming, Pop, it's coming. What's the matter with you? Hey, leave her alone, she's cooking. She's all cooking. right, all right. Uh, Angela, by the way, uh, what with the funeral and all, I didn't get a chance to tell you before, but you look fabulous. Oh, thank you, Aunt Teresa. Hey, a little skinny, maybe. <laughs> hey, a little meat on the bones wouldn't hurt. For pity's sake, leave her alone already. I'm bad, I can't have an opinion. <laughs> Drew, is there any wine in the icebox? Whatever's left, Dad. You know, I missed your brother, Richard. But he's such a big shot now, he can't come and pay his respects. We got a letter from him a couple days ago. He's in Tasmania. Can you believe it? Where? Tasmania. You know, my brother, he's always hustling. Work, work, work. What do you mean, work, work, work? Your brother never worked a day in his life. Well, so maybe he's not a nine-to-fiver, but Richard's uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, he works with his brain. Brain? Are we talking about his brother? Yeah, big shot. Mm. So, uh, Angela... How long are you going to stay here? Just a few days. I don't want to impose. Oh, Angie, you're not imposing. We hardly ever get to I see you. Be It'd be a chance for us to catch up, please. So, uh, Angela, you uh, you seeing anybody now? No, I'm not, Uncle Sal. Ah, such a pretty girl. I don't understand. Listen to me. Chill out a little. You know, like a, like a woman. Not like the, the skinny cousin over there. Come on, enough, please. You should be married, have children. You're not getting any younger. Thank you, Aunt Teresa. No. I can't believe I never thought of that myself. Mom. Poor Dorothy. Lord knows what she's going to do now with Ernie gone. The vero kid is grand. Talk English. Will you please talk English? Ah, cock. Why your mother took you to the funeral, I'll never know. Nice as it was. You have no business at a funeral. I was scared, Grandma. I didn't like when he looked at me. Cork. Cork. He didn't look at you. It was just your imagination. No, it wasn't. You see, what did I tell you? It's too much for him. Ma, please, let go of it. Can I help you with something, Ma? Yeah, check the pasta, will you? Didn't Ernie own his own mattress company and everything? It was a partnership. How, um, how do you check pasta? You take out a noodle and throw it against the stove. What about a will? Didn't you have a will? Uh, throw it against the stove? The back. If it sticks, it's ready. Oh, you know, Ernie thought I'd look forever. Oh, sorry. I guess what's really important is that when Ernie was alive, he lived a rich, full, happy life. He was a miserable thief. If I shook hands with him, I'd have to count my fingers. Excuse me. What, these people have never seen food before? Funerals make people hungry. Oh, there is hungry, and there is a feeding frenzy. I swear some guy is out there chewing on the Why? tablecloth. <laughs> Who are these people? Yes, you too can earn the art of waitressing in your spare time. True, where's the big serving platter? And strain that into a colander. Sure. What's a colander? Never mind, turn the sausages. True. Do you realize our wills are at least 12 years old? We did them 12 years ago? That long ago? You really should update them. Don't worry, I'm here, I'm a lawyer, I'm family, I'll do it. Libby, how exactly do you turn a sausage? Okay. Coming through, hot and heavy. Lady with a baby. Great. 